Hi guys, it's Aoife from Fred Z Died Laughing and I'm here with a wrap up. So I managed to read five books and two novellas this week which I'm really happy with obviously. So the first book I finished this week which was which I was reading at the end of last week is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies and this one and it's been written obviously by Jane Austen and then it was changed into the zombie format by Seth Graham and this one was a really really interesting one Um I just thought it was like it was just really fun and it was funny and I wasn't as into it as I thought I would be um first I was really flowing with it and then it kind of there are parts where I was a bit like a uh, about it but I'm not really sure I think it could be because it's not my favorite classic anyway but overall I really enjoyed it and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars I do believe and um, I watched the movie as well the movie is completely different to the book I was really surprised at how different they were actually but um and I'm not really sure if I liked the film overall I think I might have preferred the book so overall 3.5 stars and I really enjoyed it and then I picked up Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell this is just a short little book which is, which is only like 50 pages long that Rainbow Rowell wrote for World Book Day and it is about a girl called Elena who joins a line to go and see the new Star Wars four days before it comes out and she's expecting this big massive line that she used to see you know when the original Star Wars movies came out and there's only like two other people in the line and she has to you know kind of start talking to these people and try not to be as awkward as she usually is and all this stuff happens and it's just really really funny it was really short and sweet um I was a little bit afraid going into this because it's so short that I would want more but I'm actually pretty happy with what I got and what I saw of the characters in the book I thought within those few short pages we did get kind of a nice little look at the characters at Elena and the other boy in the in the line that she became friends with called Gabe and yeah I just really enjoyed it it was just super sweet and you know just different things that happen are just they're just really cute and yeah I really enjoyed it I gave it four out of five stars the next book I picked up was The Rhythmist by Brandon Sanderson this was my TBR jar pick of the month um I actually picked out two uh last month because it was a thought that one of them I couldn't be able to find I did end up finding it I read both of them and I'll talk about the next one in a minute but the first one was The Rhythmist by Brandon Sanderson this is the first Brandon Sanderson book that I have read I haven't picked any of the Mistborn trilogy up yet I keep meaning to and I just haven't got around to it yet but this is about a boy called Joel who goes to the school which also caters for people learning to be arithmetists and arithmetists are kind of like it's like this form of magic where they they draw all these kind of symbols and figures on the ground out of chalk and they kind of come to life and they can create kind of pictures of little things called chalklings and in this world there is something called wild chocolates which can kill people and the arithmetists basically use their powers of being able to create their own chocolates to battle against the wild chocolates and basically save everyone from being eaten by these wild chocolates and it's a little bit complicated it sounds a bit like uh, at first but I very quickly got used to what a arithmetist is and what they do um, you kind of get because Joel is so into it he isn't a arithmetist he just would love to be one um, but unfortunately he just missed his chance to be able to be one but he's kind of like almost like a scholar uh, about arithmetists he just knows everything he's able to draw all the things even though his drawings don't come to life the way arithmetists does but the way he kind of explains it he's his enthusiasm for it really kind of lets the reader understand really well what is going on Um, I really enjoyed the story and the character development in the relationships between all the characters and how they developed um there was a bit of an air of mystery around it because this whole thing is that joel is investigating the disappearance of arithmetist students there's kind of a mystery going around and we don't really know who's who's causing the disappearances what what who's behind it it's um joel has to try and figure it out with it uh help another professor figure it out and yeah so it was pretty good it's pretty interesting trying to figure out what was going on and then there was also kind of there was so little bits that reminded me a little bit of harry potter in a way there was a teacher in it that reminded me of the way and joel was treating him 
the way I thought Harry treated Snape um, at the start of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where he was always suspecting him and maybe it could turn out that the professor probably wasn't actually as bad as you know this this as Joel was making him out to be that he could end up being a good guy but I won't tell you if he is or not but I was just getting that feeling the way you know Harry is always blaming Snape for everything and it turned out that Snape you know wasn't so bad in the end uh, of the Philosopher's Stone that he was actually trying to help um, with the whole troll and dungeon kind of thing uh, which yeah that was pretty interesting and overall I really enjoyed it and there isn't a sequel to this book yet but there is one planned I think or he's ho he there's one on Goodreads anyway and there, it says it could come out in 2017 but I don't really know any more than that but I feel like there's so much more to come with this world it's a really really interesting world that there's so much more to come for it so I'm really really looking forward to that if there, a second book does come out and I gave it four out of five stars. The next book I read was my other TBR jar pick of the month and that was The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mosheen Hamid. This is a very strange book it's only about 200 pages it's really really easy to read you it's the writing is very like it's very big in it it's it's very easy to just like read 50 pages at a time and get it read very quickly um this is about a guy who lived he's from Pakistan and he went to college in America and worked in America for a while after he graduated from college and basically the whole story is told through a monologue and it's like he's talking to someone who's sitting opposite him this American man who's sitting opposite him in this marketplace in Pakistan and he's basically telling him his life story of how he kind of went to America he was filled with the American dream and then how he kind of became disillusioned with America and didn't really like it anymore specifically after the events of 9-11 and how it affected him and how things that were going on in Pakistan at the time affected him and affected how he thought of America and how his life was going in America and how it kind of completely changed around and he's basically just saying all this stuff to this man and I'll see if I can read out. Like, this is the first line. Uh, Excuse me, sir, but may I be of assistance? Ah, I see I have alarmed you. Do not be frightened by my beard. I am a lover of America. I noticed that you were looking for something, more than looking. In fact, you seem to be on a mission. And since I am both a native of this city and a speaker of your language, I thought I might offer you my services. So the whole book is kind of done in that kind of way where he's speaking directly to this person that we never see. You know, we are almost that person that he's speaking to so it's a very different way of reading a book and I gave it a three stars in the end because I just don't think I got it the way some other people are getting it like the ending just kind of left me a bit like oh like what even happened like it's kind of one of those endings that leaves off where you kind of can interpret it your own way I think and I was just left a little bit confused and I am glad I read it because it is a different kind of book and I always love reading books that are a little bit different like this um but yeah if anyone else has read this book I'd be really interested to hear what you think of it because for me I was a little bit like oh god like I don't really know and I found the protagonist he isn't actually that likable I didn't really like him at all um I found him a little bit like ugh. I just I just couldn't really stomach him. At times in the love relationship he talks about in the book, the girl in it, I didn't really like either. She was a little bit annoying. Um, she actually reminded me a little bit of Beck from You by Carolyn Kepnes. Um, she's that little kind of self-absorbed kind of way and kind of crumbling, but at the same time almost bringing other people down around her, that kind of thing. Um, so I didn't really like her that much, but... Yeah, overall, it was just an interesting read and I gave it 3 out of 5 stars and yeah, if you have read it, please let me know. And then I also finished Rune and Rising by Leigh Bardugo this week. This is the final book in the Grisha trilogy and obviously I can't speak too much about it, but what I can say is I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. I'd spoiled myself a little bit on purpose because I kind of just couldn't, couldn't wait to, f to get this from the library, so I kind of knew what was going to happen, but then I did end up enjoying it more than I thought I would. Um, I kind of spoke about my dislike for a certain character um, both in reviews and on my last uh, video I think on my last wrap up but this book actually really turned him around for me I actually ended up liking him way more um, I won't go too deeply into my thoughts on this and I will link my review down below for people who have read the series and want to know obviously there are some spoilers in that review so if you haven't read the series don't read it but 
I will leave my review down below for anyone who has read the series and wants to know what my thoughts of it. But overall I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars and I just really want to read Six of Crows now because I love this world so much. And the last book I finished this week, I actually just finished um, a little while ago, and it was a neck alley book, it's Fractured Dreams by K.M. Randall. This is, it's kind of a complicated to explain. It is about a girl called Story Sparks, she's 20 years old, and basically her whole life she feels like she's been missing part of herself. For a lot of her childhood she slept a lot, and then one day she just stopped kind of having all these dreams that she used to have, and she kind of lost her memory of what all those dreams were. So it turns out the story is kind of like a child of two worlds in a way. She spent a lot of her childhood when she was asleep in this other world called the In-Between and it's kind of like a fairy tale land. This whole story was a mix kind of between the Wizard of Oz mixed with the fairy tale stories. Um, so there's like Little Red Riding Hood, Big Bad Wolf, The Three Little Pigs, um, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. But it was really different. I really enjoyed the 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 whole the way the fairy tales were incorporated into this world um, and she basically finds out that she has this kind of prophecy around her where she is basically the person who can bring the t the real world and this in-between world together again and basically save all the worlds and she has to figure out how to do it and try and get her memories back and yeah so she goes on this adventure to try and do that. The world building was good. I really liked the world that it was set in, the way the fairy tales were incorporated but there was a little bit of insta-love that was very heart to stomach uh it was very much like every few paragraphs when she looked at him maybe she was swooning and she just wanted him to sweep her off her feet and kiss her and all this kind of stuff and after a while that gets I, I can take a little bit of that but after a while it gets a little bit tiring and a little bit nauseating so I got a little bit annoyed about that and there are other things that because story had this other life so she knew a lot of the people already once she kind of started to get her memories back a lot of other characters in this world she knew and she'd see them and it was kind of like the reader was scrambling to keep up it wasn't explained as well as it should have been I think who these people were how story knew them that kind of thing she never really turned around to her friends to explain what was going on so the reader would know so I felt like I was scrambling at times and then there were other times that things were really 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 obvious and story just didn't figure it out it was so obvious from the get-go like the reader could figure it out straight away it was like she was looking at one guy and she'd be like oh he looks really familiar how do I not how do, where do I know him from and then she'd look at another guy and be like oh he looks really familiar how do I know him from and then she like never matched the two together that they could be related or they could be this or that like to each other and it was just really annoying it was really really frustrating so when I first started reading this book I was like ooh this could be a five star because I just love that whole fairy tale like when when an author takes their own twist on the fairy tales and fairy tale characters but then the more I read it the more kind of these tropes started kind of getting in that kind of annoyed me a little bit and overall I gave it a three out of five stars um I was a little bit disappointed with it in the end but overall it wasn't too bad um so yeah so that was all the books I read this week and I'm thinking that because the next week I will be doing my wrap up it will be April so I guess I'll pick out my April TBR jar pick now and we will see what I will be reading from this jar in April. So I have Tiger Lily which is on my Kindle and I'm so happy I've been wanting to read this one for so long and I've seen so many people haul it recently actually and talk about it so I'm really really happy to be reading this in April. Um, I'm going to try and get to it as soon as possible because I've been really, really wanting to read this one. So that is it for my weekly wrap up. Please let me know what you guys think down below and let me know what you guys have been reading and what you've been thinking of it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. So bye.